Welcome to our Good Friday service here at Grace. This service is titled, The Way of the Cross. And during our service today, we will walk that way of the cross, going around to different crosses that we have in our sanctuary here, as we hear the story of Jesus' cross and consider our calling to follow in the way of the cross ourselves. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We will glory in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom is our salvation, our life and resurrection. Let us pray. Mercifully assist us, O Lord God of our salvation, that we may remember with joy the mighty acts whereby you have given us life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. As soon as it was morning, the chief priests held a consultation with the elders and scribes and the whole council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate spoke to the crowd, What do you wish me to do with the man you call the king of the Jews. They shouted back, Crucify him! Pilate said to them, Why, what evil has he done? They shouted all the more, Crucify him! So after flogging Jesus, Pilate handed him over to be crucified. God did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all.
Let us pray. Almighty God, your Son, our Savior, suffered at the hands of sinners and endured the shame of the cross. Grant that we may walk in the way of his cross and find the way of life and peace. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Carrying the cross by himself, Jesus went out to the place called the place of the skull, which in Hebrew is called Golgotha. Although he was a son, he learned obedience through what he suffered. Like a lamb that is led to the slaughter and like a sheep that before its shearers is silent. So he did not open his mouth. Worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, and honor and glory and blessing. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. For the transgression of my people was stricken.
Let us pray. Almighty God, whose beloved Son willingly endured the agony and shame of the cross for our redemption, give us courage to take up our cross and follow him, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. As they led Jesus away, they seized a man, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming from the country, and they laid the cross on him and made him carry it behind Jesus. If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Whoever does not carry the cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, whose blessed Son came not to be served, but to serve, bless all who, following in his steps, give themselves to the service of others, that with wisdom, patience, and courage, they may minister in his name to the suffering, the friendless, and the needy, for the love of him who laid down his life for us your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. A great number of the people followed Jesus, and among them were women who were wailing for him. But Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy.
Let us pray. Teach your church, O Lord, to mourn the sins of which it is guilty, and to repent and forsake them, that by your pardoning grace, the results of our iniquities may not be visited upon our children and our children's children. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. When they came to a place called Golgotha, they offered him wine to drink mixed with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. The soldiers divided his garments among them by casting lots. This was to fulfill what the scripture said. They divided my clothes among themselves, and for my clothes they cast lots. They gave me gall to eat, and when I was thirsty, they gave me vinegar to drink.
Let us pray. O God, your Son chose the path which led to pain before joy and the cross before glory. Plant his cross in our hearts so that in its power and love we may come at last to joy and glory through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. When they came to the place that is called the skull, there they crucified Jesus, and with him they crucified two criminals, one on the right and one on the left. He poured out himself to death, and yet he bore the sin of many. They pierced my hands and my feet. They stare and gloat over me. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretch out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you 
for the honor of your name. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And when Jesus had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. Then he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Christ for us became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Luke 22, 44 through 49. It was now about noon and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. While the sun's light failed, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, crying out in a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. When the centurion saw what had taken place, he praised God and said, Certainly this man was innocent. And when all the crowds who had gathered there for this spectacle saw what had taken place, they returned home beating their breasts. But all his acquaintances, including the women who had followed him from Galilee, stood at a distance watching these things. Even though it was still midday, the sun's light fails. Disciples stand at a distance, just watching. Their pensiveness stands in stark contrast to the wailing of the crowd. With one last breath, Jesus finds the words, Into your hands I commend my spirit. In Luke's gospel, the cross seems to be something of a defeat, a defeat of Jesus, a defeat of the movement began in Jesus' ministry, a movement that threatens to overturn the structures that were set up to perpetuate the power of only a few over the many. But this is not a defeat. Instead, it is an emptying of oneself in trust. The disciples stand at a distance, maybe only then they are beginning to realize that Jesus' words will also fill their dying breaths as well. Jesus' words fill our own dying breaths. In the end, we all die offering our spirits to something more, something beyond something not completely understood. The innocent and the guilty, the wealthy and the poor, the powerful and the oppressed, the heartbroken and the frightened, when we breathe our last, our spirits are offered up. When we die, we die with Jesus. And with Jesus, our final breath is a confession of faith a confession of trust that our spirits will be reconnected with the one from which they came. This promise of life continuing even in death, mysterious as this promise still is to us, well, it has the capacity to open the possibility of the Spirit filling our empty lungs today, animating our new life today, moving us in new and God-centered directions today. When we look at the cross, even when we stand at a distance, we discover a promise that teaches us over and 
over and over again that the way things are right now are not the way that things have to be. The confession of our dying breath can become the confession of our every breath. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, you gave your only Son to suffer death on the cross for our redemption. And by his glorious resurrection, you delivered us from the power of death. Make us die every day to sin so that we may live with him forever in the joy of the resurrection, who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was also a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. So Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth, and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn in a rock. Then he rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb. You will not abandon me to the grave, nor let your Holy One see corruption. Let us pray. O God, your blessed Son was laid in a tomb in a garden and rested on the Sabbath day. Grant that we who have been buried with him in the waters of baptism may find our perfect rest in his eternal and glorious kingdom, where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal. Have mercy and hear us. Savior of the world, by your cross and precious blood, you have redeemed us. Save us and help us. We humbly beseech you, O Lord. Let us pray. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you have delivered us from the dominion of sin and death 
and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. And we pray that, as by his death he has recalled us to life, so by his love he may raise us to eternal joys, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Amen. To Christ our Lord who loves us, washed us in his own blood, and made us a kingdom of priests to serve his, fod, his God and Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Amen.